So this is the final result of what we're trying to achieve but before we'll be able to get there we must first learn how to do this texture. And yes we will be learning how to do this texture by using Photoshop, Medibang and Blender for this episode. If you haven't watched the previous episodes make sure you check out the cards on your screen. So without further ado, let's begin. Now before we'll move on to the Photoshop, we, we first need to like set up the materials, uh, material faces for this one. So in order for us to do that, we're going to go over this tab, just click over there and put uh, two more over here. So just click this add sign, just add, ma uh, add material two times because we are going to add two more. Uh, materials for this one one for the blade one for the guard and pommel and one for the cloth or the wrappings over here now we are going to rename this uh, I'll just rename this as blade rename this as guard and uh, no 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 just name this as cloth and Rename this as a guard and pommel. Now uh, we are going to like select them and assign the faces. So let's just swap this really quick. Right click that and swap areas so we could have this uh, map over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assign the faces for each. First, let us go into the blade and press B. Select all the blade part over here. Make sure that there are no other faces included. And yes, you can see over here. And if we go to the wireframe, it's just the blade. Okay, that's good. Now we are going to um, assign the blade on this material. So just press assign. There we go. As soon as we press the assign, you will see that uh, there is no longer ambient occlusion on this part. Sort of. It's not really noticeable, but you'll get what I, what I mean in a moment. Now let's go to the cloth and select your katana again. Press tab. Des deselect the blade part and just pressing A. Or rather right click. Right click somewhere. Now uh, we're going to press B again and select all the cloth part. Make sure it's just the cloth that you are selecting over there. Okay, I guess uh, that's all correct. Let's go to the wireframe again. And yeah, I guess that's correct. Now, I'll, all we have to do is just to assign that to here. Assign. Then, just press A again to deselect everything. Now, to check everything else because we don't have to do this guard and pommel since uh, that is the last phase just select that and just check whether if it is correct and of course I guess that's correct because we're going to have a different metal type over here and different metal type for the blade and for the cloth as well now that we have done that part uh, let's just uh, put some texture base on this so go over to the UV shader over here then press um, shift A go to the texture and select image and over to the color you just have to like uh, bring this color to the base so as you can see the cloth part becomes black and that's a good sign because we're going to put a different texture on that later on and of course we go to the blade as well and we are at the blade material and let's go back here and just press shift a again 
texture and image texture same pattern and you see it turns into black now uh, let's just put the AO over here just to uh, make it to look at uh, I mean to make it look cleaner okay that's it now we're going to move on to the Photoshop so uh, these are the maps that we have created in the last episode so what we are going to like uh, put some background on this first let's just uh, rename this one to UV and let us add another layer and just name this background and let's put a black background on that put it under the UV map and we are going to move both of these in our AO map over here just like that and let's rename this quick let's say AO uh, short for ambient occlusion just move it upwards and then we are ready to put some textures on this one let's begin now the next thing we're going to do is we will be needing some certain textures and this is the uh, dirty metal texture the uh, cloth texture and the brush metal where's that this one so the brush metal texture we will be using this as base textures for this a katana blade so uh, if we wanted to get this uh, seamless texture just check out the link in the description below okay moving on uh, I already placed the seamless textures on the layers of this Photoshop so uh, let's begin with the brush metal so go over the AO or the ambient occlusion map and you just press the control uh, key on your keyboard and left click this one so we will have this line over there go over uh, this section and j just press control J and we won't be needing this anymore so just put this down or just below somewhere else all we needed here is just for the blade so we're going to erase everything else like uh, left click and just select this part and just press delete let's let me do that again uh, left click and select those parts and go over to this layer and just delete it now let's just make sure that there are no more lines left okay I guess that's okay and let's just zoom out okay it gets uh we have some more part over here that's not deleted so we're going to delete this part as well make sure that you're selecting that layer and let's just rename this as blade brush and then we go back and yes we're already done with that make sure that you put that brush metal not into normal but into multiply so all of the shadows will be showing okay then we move on to the cloth first where is that cloth seamless cloth this one and then let's do that again we just uh, point your mouse over to the AO part press control on your keyboard and then left click so we could select uh, that part and then instead of staying in the AO you go you move to the seamless cloth texture and press control J again okay and then uh, we won't be needing this again let us just move this away and let's just name this as cloth texture okay let's put that up there 
and then we are going to erase everything else that's not supposed to be a cloth <clears throat> excuse me and where are we supposed to do that now we are going to erase the blade part of course just left click and select it over there press delete and this one as well because we're not going to put cloth on that and this one also so this is the handle part this is the handle part and these are the pommel and the guards so the pommel and the guards we are going to use the dirty metal so to speak and yeah we have a lot of things to select over here so maybe we, we could just do this uh, much easier I select the uh, lasso tool the poly what's this polygonal lasso tool just uh, select this part where we won't be needing the other parts so we will just need this one okay and there we go now control J this one by pressing the sim let's just control J that one so we won't be seeing this part over there oh no 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 this one let's just hide it won't be needing it anymore and let's just re rename this as 30 that's all and we are going to uh, point your mouse on the AO part again press control and left click so we will have that selection go to the dirty metal part and control J okay let's just delete this I think that's the long way anyway uh, yeah so uh, we're done with the base colors but we have to make sure that all of these base colors are in multiply make them all multiply in this cloth as well make it multiply now let's remove this UV map on the back I think that uh, this one is just too tight too large anyway we're going to the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint on this to make it look cleaner cleaner so to speak so uh, let's just put this background over there and just save this as katana uh, let's choose jpeg and rename this as katana diffuse underscore plane okay let's save that and that's what we're going to use in blender okay now we're back in blender let's just check the texture how it will look in this one first let's move on to the garden pommel and go over here and just uh, pick the image that we have just saved that's the katana this diffuse plane and let's just choose that and let's just put this in render mode so that we can see it so that is the new texture over there let's go to the cloth and erase the current one and let's open the texture uh, that we have just made in Photoshop okay that looks terrible <laughs> we're going to fix that <clears throat> and let's move on to the blade and the same thing let's just open the katan diffuse plane okay that doesn't look nice so I think we need to uh, I think we need to make this blade a little bit darker and the cloth uh, texture over here a little bit thinner so uh, let's just uh, redo that part again let's just put this down first and let's move on to this one <clears throat> okay uh, let me just close this 
uh, keyboard here because it doesn't work in Photoshop for some reason anyway uh, <clears throat> let's just move on okay we have to remove the cloth or the blade brush metal is okay but we need to put a little dark on this part so just press control on your keyboard and press this blade over here so that we could select that part now let's put some new texture let's put darks let's uh, place a black black overlays on this part I guess uh, this one will do and just press or choose this one paint bucket <clears throat> and okay and put this to place the darks and put it to multiply mm, that dark I guess uh, I guess it's fine what I think but yeah for the sake of this tutorial I think that will work <clears throat> and let's move on to the cloth uh, first let's get that seamless cloth again and let's just put it over here make it multiply let's control T to select it all and let's, let's just make it a little bit smaller and tighter I mm, guess that will do and choose the cloth layer press control again and left click that one so that we could control J the seamless texture okay won't be needing that again won't be needing this anymore let's rename this as cloth so we won't forget it uh is that correct okay let's just erase this one put this to multiply darker and put the background i guess that will do let's just save this against quick jpeg 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 okay and just override or uh just replace that one save and let's go back to <coughs> blender now we are going to replace the textures again just this one for everything else okay i guess that's nice mm -hmm. i think this is better mm. blade is too dark but we're going to uh, do something about that later on the next thing we're going to use is we're going to paint on the blade part over here the sharp part the waving thing <laughs> okay I don't know what uh, you're supposed to call that but we're going to do that not in Photoshop but in Medibang because for some reason if I tried if I try to paint using Photoshop it's the lines are too jagged so I guess uh, Medibank is the way to go anyway let's move on Medibank before we will proceed let me just tell you that you will be needing a pen and a tablet like this one in order for us to have an accuracy of what we are supposed to do next because we cannot do the strokes by just using a regular mouse because a regular mouse doesn't detect pen pressure if you do not have one of these uh, pen tablets you can check out the link in the description below and get one for yourself today and now we are back in medibank pro so let's just open the file really quick and let's open the katana psd but before we will proceed this on this texture let me just show you what I meant earlier so let's create a new image set a background color in black so that we could have this uh, texture image over here now I'm trying to use the mouse and if you're going to stroke using the mouse as you can see uh, all lines are 
the same. It doesn't have uh, smoothness or transitions of whatever. But if I'm going to try this pen tablet over here, so as you can see, I can stroke light and I can stroke harder. And we will be needing this in Blender painting later on. Okay, let's just proceed to what uh, we're supposed to do. Let's just close that one and move over here. And the next step we're going to do is we're going to add another layer, at least two. So we can do that by clicking this uh, button over here. And let's just rename this as uh, sharp one. And this one as sharp two. These are for the sharp blades over here, okay? Let's just uh, open up the UV again and let's start with this blade over here. Now we'll start stroking using the pen tablet. And before we do that, let's just change this quick to overlay and this one to overlay as well. And let's begin sharp one first <clears throat> and here we go so for the katana it, it, it has this uh, certain lines okay I bet you can do that in mouse as well but it's better using a pen tablet because the strokes are random it's not uh, it's not supposed to be even okay we're almost done and there we go but we have to erase that line over there maybe later on when we do that in Photoshop so let's just save this quick and let's move to Photoshop we just have to like clean certain parts over here really a minor issue as you can see it's overlapping over there and we don't want that we'll just have a uh, erase an eraser tool to remove it and that's about it let's check it overall really quick and I guess that is just fine I guess so um, let's just remove the lines or the UV map before we save it I'm going to save this in JPEG as the Katana Diffuse Plane. Now we are going to go back in Blender. And we are going to open that texture. Let's move on to the blade first. Erase that one and open the... Where is that? This one yes okay press Z and go to render so that you can see the blade okay that's the one that, that we are talking about earlier okay so the next step is we're going to uh, draw more image or should I say strokes over the blade so it will not look uh, as plain as this one as you can see it's just a normal to um, it's just too plain we have to put some details on that so we're going to use this one this is where this pen tablet shines in this part so that's it guys for this episode join us next time we're in we will learn how to do the small and large details like this one if you will look into the texture as you can see this is the thing that we have achieved already at this episode and we will try to learn how to do this uh, lines there and all of the small and large details for your katana to look like this one so this has a great effect on the rendering so uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so we won't miss the next episode Go on, click it. It's free.